Everybody wants to be a powerful executive and run things. I, as a president, wouldn't want to run the world. I don't want to police individual activities and li their lifestyle. And I don't run, want to run the economy. So that's like an entirely different philosophy, but it's very, very much in our tradition and in the tradition of our Constitution. <laughs> And welcome back to Sioux City, Iowa. Tonight, the GOP presidential hopefuls took to the stage and they were outlining their visions for getting America back on track. And joining me now is the man you just heard from. That's Texas Congressman Ron Paul. How are you? Good to see you. Good. Good thanks, to see you. Thanks for being with us. I noticed you never gave a full answer to, I think it was Megyn Kelly's question. Will you promise if, if you don't win this nomination, and you're doing very well here in Iowa, that you will support the Republican nominee and not run third party? Well, I'll give the same answer I've given about 39 times now. Mm -hmm. um, that I have no intention of doing that. I plan to do my very best and see what right. happens in the next two months. So I'm not making I don't, pledges. I don't, I don't, I don't want to make... push it too hard, but, but when you say no intention, it leaves the door open. No. So you're leaving the door open. I don't like absolutes. I don't like to say, I absolutely will never do such and such. So I'm just avoiding the absolutely. you absolutely absolute. support the U.S. Constitution. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That's so, a little bit different than pledging to politicians. Well, but I mean, politicians well, aren't. But the thing is, you know that if you ran third party, and I think why people are looking for an answer, you would probably siphon off some of the anti-Obama vote. I don't think there's any doubt about okay, it. But wouldn't it be fair to ask the moderate Republicans that are competing uh, to ask the same question? I've been asking John, the question. John Anderson, the yeah. approach, John Anderson dropped out and ran, and that's a significant... But no event. intention means the door is open. So you're saying tonight that the door is open a little? Well, the door is... I cannot conceive of it. You can't conceive of any circumstances? I, 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 cannot, okay. I cannot conceive of it. have absolutely no plans or thoughts of doing it. All right. A lot came up tonight, uh, got very heated on the issue of national security in Iran. Let me ask you this question. With Iran killing Americans in Iraq, you argue we shouldn't have been there in the first place, right. but they're also fighting proxy wars through Hezbollah and other terrorist organizations. They were planning an assassination of a Saudi ambassador on our soil. They clearly have said they want to wipe Israel off the map. Do you, why do you think it wouldn't be dangerous if they got that nuclear weapon? Well, I don't want them to get the nuclear weapon. It would increase the danger, but I, I don't think we should deal with that. But uh, as, as, as far as uh, thinking that that should be the whole, whole issue, um, I think you're losing the point because there are a lot of nuclear weapons around the world. As a matter of fact, th those quotes about wiping Israel off the map, just as a favor to me, look it up and check the real interpretation. They talk about getting rid of the regime of uh, those people in I've Jerusalem. I've gone back on nuclear yeah, security. It's, it, no, it's, no, it, he has said, wipe, he said, eliminate the state of Israel, wipe them off the face it, of the it, earth. It that has been said, said by Ahmed It literally says uh, getting rid of the regime uh, for, and removing from the pages of time, it is a lot different than Israel. He's also a Holocaust them. denier. Okay. No, I, I think that they're acting in self-defense. Uh, 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 Barack, uh, Barack, you know, Ehud Barak. Ehud Barak. Said, yeah. Ehud Barak uh, said that uh, he, they're acting logically. And they're acting in their self-interest. And if he was a, and if he was an Iranian, he would probably think the same way. So yeah. they have a lot to contend with. There, and, and, and Barak said they were surrounded by nuclear missiles. Why wouldn't they have a natural? But there is, there is a gross distortion of this debate that they're on the verge of a nuclear. And there is no evidence that they're on the verge of well, a nuclear I, weapon, I, and we shouldn't be ready to, to get start into another a, war. You, you talk about a declaration of war. The, I've read the Constitution. It doesn't say you have to use any exact words, and George Bush got the authorization for the use of force. If you're going to use force, that seems to me to be yeah, and, to meet that definition. Yeah, but it was explicit to go after those responsible for 9-11, right. and I voted but, for it. Jill, I voted for that. You, uh, did I hear you say tonight, and I wrote it down, and I wasn't sure of the context, because I, I will admit my attention was diverted, that we killed millions of Iraqis? There was estimated, well, you know, when uh, Albright was asked that, you know, the subject that when we were bombing during the 90s, uh, uh, they, uh, she, they said that there were 500,000 Iraqi children died mm -hmm. because of our bombing and sanctions and blowing up their water plants and all. And she says, well, that's the price to pay, we have to. So yeah. for 10 years, we were bombing them. And you, uh, don't you think we would be annoyed if somebody bombed us for 10 years? So in comparison, yeah. they can say that we have killed a lot of the people. We dropped drones, you know, on Pakistan. What if they did that to us? Wouldn't we be annoyed? I, and know, that's not self-defense. I'm, I'm a believer that no country has shed more 
blood in defense of freedom for, for Muslims around the world than the United States, nor has there ever been a country that has accumulated more power and abused it less than us. Here, I got to get this final that. question in. Um, this came up in, in 2008 when you ran, and, and I've asked every question of Newt Gingrich involving his background, his controversies, everything. Same with Mitt Romney. And I brought up, and I, I really admire your fierce supporters, but when I brought up the issue of your newsletters from the early 90s and some really outrageous things that have been written in there and you had gone on record saying you had no idea what was in them that kind of surprised me why do you not take responsibility for the things that were in your individual newsletters well, in 2002 uh, the Texas Monthly reviewed that and they wrote a, a long, long article, and that's a real liberal newspaper. So you read that, and yeah. you'll find out. Well, I read Reason I didn't Magazine, it. which is libertarian. I did, not, I, did not, I did not write it, and I do not support those views. And they're painted as, they make me think that, you know, I'm a racist or something. But there were some the great racial things in there. I'm the greatest defender of civil liberties, especially when it comes to the inequities in our judicial system, you know, with blacks, the imprisonments for the drug wars, the number of blacks who get uh, uh, to get to get right. the death penalty. I, I got to so, let me let me ask you one last question. Do you know who did write it? And do you repudiate no, do what was in your newsletter? I do not. And I, I, I don't believe anything of that stuff that they've quoted. OK. How about tomorrow? Remember Remember, December 16th, oh, the anniversary of the Tea Party. The Tea Party. Very important date. That is when the Tea Party movement was started four years ago. Uh -huh. That's the modern Tea Party and, movement. And for all your supporters, I asked every other candidate questions of controversy as well. Good to see you, Mr. Paul. Thank you. All right, hang on one second. And we still have lots more to come tonight as we are live in the spin room. We're in Sioux City, Iowa. Tonight, coming up next, Texas Governor Rick Perry is here. And then later, we'll check in with Congresswoman Michelle Bachman, who was on the offense tonight. That and much more straight ahead.